Pull. You smoked it. Pull. On to our next station here, and I missed one target today, so I'm considering leaving and just going home because my entire day is ruined. Alright guys, I got myself a Browning Satori CXT. It isn't like the top of the line gun, but it's kind of mid-range. I shot trap like my whole life growing up. And then I went to college and then dental school. And then after graduating dental school, I was kind of like, I want to get a gun again and get back into this. So I bought this Browning at Shields in Kansas City a couple years ago. And I told myself, hey, if I stick with it, then I can buy myself something really nice. And I've gotten to the point where I've been shooting this gun a lot, but I shoot so well with it. It's, I don't think buying like a K-Gun, like a Kragoff or a Kohler or something really fancy that's expensive, is really going to make me that much better of a shooter. And so if you come take a look at this gun, it's an over under 12 gauge with a rib designed for shooting trap, but I've really grown into shooting more sporting clays because that's kind of my style. I really, I've shot a lot of trap in my life and I've gotten to the point where I'd rather kind of socialize on the course of sporting clays, driving a golf cart around to different stations than to be standing at a trap range, but to each their own, right? So this is my Browning Satori. I got a, you know, a little fat grip on here. I've also had a comb custom fit for my face at Cole Gunsmithing down in Naples. So this gun fits me really well. I shoot really well with it. It's got a 32 inch barrel, which is pretty long for sporting clays. A lot of guys will shoot 28 or 30 and even, you know, lower gauge than 12. But like I said, this thing, is, it's just kind of the great gun for me. The only thing I regret about this gun is when I had the comb and stock fitted for my face, was that I had it finished in matte and I should have done it in like a, a high gloss shine. So this is my baby, this is a good gun. It was probably about two grand, but hey, she's worth every penny and I've probably put 10,000 shells through this thing since I've gotten it a couple years ago. And for Caroline, I have a gun show special, Savage Arms 410 over under. I mean, how cute is this thing, right? Look at how tiny those little holes are for the shells, for the barrel. But it's just kind of a beaut. It's got a great design here. And hey, I love shotguns. I love over-unders. I thought this would be the perfect little ripper for her to start learning how to shoot with. All right, so this is going to be our first time shooting together sporting clays. Are you excited? I'm really excited. I know. So you've got the 410, the little ripper, and then obviously I got my big ripper. I want to teach you how to shoot this one before we go to this one. The only problem with the little one is it's very hard to hit the target, but it's easy okay. to get like the motion of the ocean with, okay? Yeah, I think I definitely need to start with the little one since I've never even shot once before in my life. So. Well, you've definitely, I know we've been here once before, but I think we need to get the fundamentals down when it's just you and I now. I think I was I just now. here for fun that time. I yeah. don't know if I was- We've been here before with our friends for my birthday last year, and now I wanted to spend some time with her just like one-on-one -on -one to really go over the safety and fundamentals of shooting. What's cool about sporting clays is it kind of mimics like actual shooting, right? Like bird shooting. So yeah. this first station we're at is very easy. The first target's gonna go straight out and the second target's gonna be coming straight in, okay? okay? So we're just gonna focus one at a time and I'm like kind of go, we're not even gonna put shells in the gun first. We're okay. just gonna like go through the motions so you can like follow the target, pull okay. the trigger, okay? So let's get the gun up on you. Okay. And then uh, I'll start pulling some clays so you can kind of follow the clays with the gun. Cool? Okay. All right, let's do this. Let's go. All right, so I want you to remount the gun again. Go ahead and take it off your shoulder. Go and take the gun off your shoulder, perfect. Now I want you to go through the motion. Okay. Put it, aim at the sky for you. Yep, just like that. She got on there. You're looking down the barrel. Now bring it down. Yep, just like that. That's great form. You got your foot, your feet good, butts out, leaning forward. That's great form. I love it. It's kind of like a workout. You're, like, I'm well, shaking. I think you're too tense. I think you need to just like loosen up a little bit. All right. Like you're getting Loosen ready up. to do some lunges, right? Loosen up. Yep. Okay. Sometimes it's easier if you put your hip against this piece of wood right here. Does that help? Yeah. Okay. Looking good. Looking really good. Okay, so let's do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this first trap here, okay? 
when you tell me pull. So you're gonna be aiming like right here. And when I, when you say pull, I'm gonna, just like at the dirt right here. When I say, when you say pull, I'm gonna hit the button and it's gonna throw a clay. And I just want you to follow that clay all the way up and then all the way back down until it hits the ground again. Just with the gun? Just with the gun. Go, I forget what I say. Follow it all the way down. Do you wanna do it again? Yeah, but what's the word again? Pull. Pull. Okay, so lean into it. Got one in the bottom there? Nope, that's perfect. Just need one in the bottom and push it in all the way. There you go. All right, now crack or shut. Okay, your safety's off. Don't keep your finger off that trigger until you're ready to shoot. Pull. You said pull and then you just shot. So when should I have pulled the trigger? When the target gets to the very top of the rainbow. Watch out, she's going live, people. She is live. Yeah, if you're here right now, you might want to just leave. Pull. Oh, so close. You were just to the right of it. I see. You see it now? That was a lot better. Though, yeah, it was right? a lot better. It was. Okay, load her up. Do I look like a shooting gal? <laughs> you're getting there. You're getting there. Pull. Oh, that was even closer. Was it? It was way closer that time, yeah. All right, run it back, okay. run it back. <laughs> there you it's go. It's kind of fun. It is. It smells like a firework. Yeah, black powder. All right, let's get my girl out. This is my Satori. Wait, wait, I have a question. Hit me. Do you need a lesson from me? <laughs> What's your lesson? What are your tips? You need to get in your position, point it at the sky, <laughs> get in your athletic pose. All right. Wait. Pull. All right, so now we're gonna do something fun, which is called a double, where it throws both of them at the same time. Oh! Look at that. We didn't see the top one, it was too high. I got them both. All right, it's time for you to shoot some. I think you should try my gun. It's, it shoots, it's way easier to hit the targets. So, is this gonna hurt? No. Pull! Oh, you, you shot really underneath it. I couldn't even see because I could, I was just trying to focus on the gun. <laughs> I think I like mine better, but sure. Take two. Lean in. Pull. You smoked it. See, there you go. I couldn't even see it. You, you I got just it. went for it. <laughs> I know, you powdered that thing. All right, so you got the straights down. Let's go on to the next station, okay? Okay. What's really cool about this sporting clays range is they give you a golf cart and you're driving through the woods to each station. Each station throws different clays. It's just a great place. Some people like golfing. This is my golf, sporting clays. And it's not far from where we live. So if y'all come down to a race with Freedom Factory, Come check out Sarasota Trap and Ski. We are shooting the easy course today, all right? Station one was a outgoing straight and then an incoming straight. Here we've got a right to the left, quartering in low, and then a right side outgoing. So the first one will come in towards us from the right to the left. See it right there? And then the second one will be coming right here in the bush. All right, so I'm gonna shoot, it says four report pair. I'll shoot three report pair. Pull! Powder dome. Pull. Pull. All right, your turn. You ready? You want the big boy or the little guy? Station number two. We'll see how she does. Will she hit a target with the 410? Yes. Yes, she says. All right, so when you say pull, I'm gonna pull it from the one right over here on the lower right. It's gonna kind of go up to the upper left. Pull! Smoke that one. Did you see it get powdered? I did. All right, you gotta stop there. I know. One. All right, let's go to the That's next one. That's what I said, that was my last station, one. Right? Okay. Pull!
like that, don't you? <laughs> On to our next station here, and I missed one target today, so I'm considering leaving and just going home because my entire day is ruined, but here we have a right to left quartering out and a left to right quartering in. Let's check them out. This is a natural born shooter. Oh. 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 Right button. Pull. Smoked it. On this next one, I want you to pull the first target when I say pull, and then the second target when my gun goes off, okay? When Ready? the trigger goes off? Yeah. Pull. All right, give me that uh, one in the, the right button, okay? Pull! There it is. Well, I missed two targets today, so I'm basically absolutely trash at sporting clays. But if you're ever in the area and you want to go shoot, hit your boy up. I'm always down. I love sporting clays. But I'm doing 75 days straight of videos. Today is day 14. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment. We'll see you tomorrow. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.